The 22nd Party Congress began, as all of you know, with the inaugural session. All of you were there. So after the inaugural session in the afternoon, we started the actual proceedings of the Congress. The first agenda. Settle down, settle down. The first, uh, first item of the agenda that is normally considered in a party congress is the draft political resolution that we issue to a rank and file in all the Indian languages two months before the party congress convenes. And of these, uh, in these two months, all members of the party have the right to submit their amendments, their opinions on this draft political resolution directly to the Central Committee. These were considered in a pre-Congress amendment that were accepted yesterday. On that a press release was already given, given those details. That has uh, already been given to you. And after that the discussion on the draft political resolution begin, began. The draft political resolution of the Central Committee that was released to the rank and file was presented to the Party Congress by Politburo member Comrade Prakash Kara. In the Central Committee, hey, 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 hey. much earlier there was a difference of opinion and therefore the Central Committee decided that both the opinions should be placed before the Party Congress for their consideration and uh, discussion and therefore on that basis, on the basis of the discussion and decision will be taken and I place the other opinion, the minority opinion of the Central Committee before the Party Congress and both are together are being discussed. So far 13 members have participated. The names and the states from which they belong to are there in the press release that has been circulated and therefore I am not uh, reading that out. And uh, so the discussion continues and will continue up till tomorrow afternoon, we presume. So it's only after lunch, it's only after lunch tomorrow that we will be these, uh, out on the basis of the discussion, then the future agenda of the Congress will be taken up. Apart from this, the Congress also will discuss a separate, a separate political organization report and that report deals with the activities of the party during the last three years, the manner in which the direction for, for the party as given by our last Congress, 21st Party Congress has been implemented and an evaluation of the, our experience on that basis. We also discuss the developments in the various states under our state committees anything of importance that needs to be drawn to the attention of the All India Party and also the developments in our mass organizations. So that is essentially a review of our work that has been done in the last three years and from that what are the lessons we need to draw. So these are the two major items on the agenda. And then there will be the consideration of some of the amendments to the party constitution that have been uh, proposed by certain uh, party members. Anybody can propose, any party member can propose any amendment to the party constitution two months prior to the party congress. And that has to be, that has to be mandatorily considered by the party congress, by the Senate committee whose report will be placed in party congress. And then we also have the report of the Central Control Commission of the party. And this is the commission to which any party member, if he or she is aggrieved on any disciplinary action taken by any committee, has the right to appeal to. And this uh, court of appeal gives its opinion on the basis of going through the facts of, of the case concerned. And they, it's an independent body that is independently elected by the party congress, like the central committee is elected. 
and therefore they give their report to the party congress. So that is also one item on the agenda. So these are matters as far as the party congress is concerned. And since the discussions are continuing, there is nothing much that we can tell you about. The other matter in which today being in session in the 22nd Party Congress, the CPIM is issued, is that we, we consider that the Supreme Court judgment today, that rejecting all the petitions, demanding an independent probe into the death of Justice Lawyer, This rejection or the dismissal of all these petitions, this is very, very unfortunate. And what is also unfortunate, and in fact, which is something which we cannot comprehend, is the term that this bench of the Supreme Court, headed by the Chief Justice, used, saying that all these petitions are scandalous. We do not agree with this, this sort of a categorization, that the institution of delivery of justice can call some petitions as scandalous. But nevertheless, therefore, the CPM demands that this matter should be reviewed by a larger bench of the Supreme Court. And that must be done in the interest of delivery of justice because all the circumstantial evidence that has been furnished so far all the investigations or the judicial proceedings also in the High Courts of Maharashtra or Bombay, even those that have now had been taken over by the Supreme Court when the petition was filed before them, all of them suggest that this is a matter that requires to be properly proved in order to come to the bottom of the truth. Now to just dismiss these petitions we think is very, very unfortunate. So we are demanding that there should be a review by a larger bench of the Supreme Court. And in this case, proper delivery of justice must be ensured.